uh, and build a mosque, build a temple there. But a temple, they were destroyed 2,000 years ago by the Roman. But they want to rebuild it again. And that's the whole main conflict. So in one picture, I was able, I believe, to show the whole things happening. I also followed a lot Yasser Arafat in a different time. I was in trenches with him. I was in vote with him from Lebanon to Yemen with him and for 1,500 fighters. And this is important pictures. It became a pictures of the year in Time magazine because one of the things which I always do when I'm with a lot of other photographers and something's happening and everybody's running, I just put back. And I said, no, don't run, Razor, what everybody's running. Don't go. Just think about it one second. Where is the picture? This is the time that we were visiting the front line with Arafat, Abu Jihad, and some other big commanders or people. And uh, they start shelling. So Arafat bodyguards push him inside this bunker. There was other photographers, TVs, CBS, NBC, and all those 15 of them. And it was funny to see how all of them, they were just running in. There was just one bodyguard that stayed with them. And in the beginnings, I was running too. But then I realized that, hey, Razor, pull back. And I came just make a tour. Even if there was shelling, but photographing, you know, sometimes you get to and you mind that you don't think about it, that, hey, they're, they're, they're shooting, they're shooting it. So when I turned back, I saw this face looking, everything in his eyes, every stories of the Arafat. It could be in one picture, and this is it. Always surrounded, a man who was always surrounded. And even in his last days, he was surrounded for years in Ramallah. One funny thing happened that when I was taking pictures, I didn't look around, and there was a two meters hole. So uh, after when I saw these pictures, what I remember that I was fell down, and Arafat was coming up and said, "Fein Antareza, what's happened to you?" <laughs> this was the I was down there and with all my cameras falling down. Later I heard uh, from uh, Soha Arafat his wife, that, you know, Reza, this picture is the only one that Arafat has printed and he has no room of his hand. This was a print which I gave to him one day and he, he loved it, he had it. And this is the when all these fighters, 1,500 of them, after being fighting in siege for three months in Tripoli, of Lebanon, they were going to the Yemen escorted by a French Navy to be safe and to go to the Yemen, which I, I was the only photographer on this uh, boat with them. But how to show the war? The siege of Beirut in 1982, 15,000 people died, civilians, many of them. And many of them Lebanese, they were not even Palestinian. 15,000. There were the days that there was 18 to 20,000 bombs per day was recorded by Associated Press or AFP. There was, I don't know how they were counting it, but they were coming at the night every time. Today there was 18,000 bombs on Beirut. Today there was 19,500 bombs on Beirut. 15,000 people were killed. But then I, one day I saw this scene. These were the pure Arab horses that was kept in the Beirut hippodrome. And when the bombardment started, they tried to move them, but the airplanes, they saw some big movement there and they shot them. And so they remained there, obviously, for days. But I see that this is also the way to show the war. Another country which I worked 
I did the three story for National Geographic. Actually, my first story for National Geographic was in Cairo. And what I remember.